So, we are back from our video, and in this one, we are using Fletchinder. Now, why am I using Fletchinder and not Talonflame? Why? Well, basically, it's come to my recent understanding that Fletchinder is actually more tanky than Talonflame with the Eevee Alight. Um, I will have Pokemon Showdown calculations on the screen right now. Yeah, um, Fletchinder with the Eevee Alight actually is more tanky than Talonflame. And when I use Talonflame, I don't really expect Talonflame to do, like, insane output because I usually just build it, like, um, 252 in HP and, like, 252 in speed. So, like, normally it just doesn't do damage in general. So I was, like, saying to myself, well, if I can get a more tanky Talonflame, I might as well do it. And here we are. We have Fletchinder with the Eevee Alight. It has Talonflame, Braver, Will-O-Wisp, and Roost. Uh, Eevee-wise, I put 252 into HP. And I split the EVs between special defense and defense. As you can see, the uh, special defense is the exact same as the defense. Uh, Wadjet in 83. Yeah, now Fletching the basically just is our Tailwind setter. That is essentially it. We're just going to see how it tanks in PvP. I'll be running it with Sylveon. Sylveon's just a really, really good uh, DPS just in general. So, like, why not? I bought a 252 in special attack and 252 in speed. It has Hyper Voice Protect, uh, Terra Blast, and Shadow Ball with Pixelate there. We have Mouse Hold uh, with Tidy Up Population Bomb, Bite and Protect with Technician. Holding the Wide Lens, Golden Go, uh, Choice Place Maker Rain, Trick, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt. We have Royal Moon 2 with the Boost Energy. Uh, it has Break and Swipe, Earthquake Protect, and Iron Head, Terra Steel, and Iron Bundle, um, Terra Ice with the Focus Sash, Helping Hand Freeze, Right Hydro Pump, and Protect. But yeah, um, I'll be leading off Fletching Dub with Sylveon, and I guess I'll just bring in whoever whoever's fit for the for their match. Okay, let's see how Fletching Dub does on ranked. Fletchinder, you know, actually Fletchinder. I always forget to say this. Um, we are currently on the road to 1,000 subs, so if you are not yet subbed to the channel, and Taurus, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't. Okay, well, it, it did it. If you are not yet subbed to the channel, please consider doing so, so we can reach 1,000 subs. Okay, anyway, let's get into the matches. Okay, first match. Our opponent sends. I'm seeing Scream Tell so often. Like, what's happening? Like. Everyone's just running Screaming Town. And like, why is it always with Iron Hands as well? I, I feel like it's like a common thing. Why? It could be Iron Ball Screaming Tail. It could, but let's just hope that it's not. Okay, let's go for Tail in here. And like, let's just launch um, Hyper Voice here. Should do okay to um, Iron Hands. If it actually is Iron Ball Screaming Tail and it uses Trick Room. Is that the biggest issue in the world? I mean, like, is it? I mean, Iron Hands is strong, I guess. I mean, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, they are taking a bit to the side. I have no idea why. Like, it's, it's Fletchinder. Like, why are you contemplating, like, your choices? Okay, they, they actually swap our Iron Hands. And they go into, I, I can't read Japanese. Or, like, I don't know what that is. Okay, Golden Go. Okay, Tailwind. It's just so funny seeing Fletchinder here. Okay, well, how much does Hyper Voice do then? Basically nothing. That's fine, no, that's fine. We get the boost. Okay. Right, what does Screaming Tail do? It is Trick Room. It is Trick Room. Okay. So, it is most likely Iron Ball. I mean, like, even if it wasn't, it'd still go last because of us setting up Tailwind, right? Okay, over here, I guess... I, I don't know. I guess we can try use Brave Bird. Onto um onto Scream Tail and Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball onto Golden Go. I feel like with the plus one special attack boost, it should kill. I'm gonna Terra so we resist Make It Rain as well. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Do they Terra? I don't think they do. I I don't think they Terra. Maybe I I I don't know. I'm mean, like if they don't, I think Golden Go dies here. Pretty sure because I obviously like. Single target properties with Golden Go being weak to um, um, thingy like Ghost does nothing, but that's okay. Okay, make it rain. How much do we take? Fletchinder took nothing. Granted, it was like quad, quad like resisted, but still, disable. That's fine. I, I didn't, I didn't use a uh, hyper voice. I think Golden Go goes down. It should, it should, right? Like, come on. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, Hyper Voice is disabled though, which is a bit annoying, but it's okay. Fletch and the tank it though, like, you saw it. You saw it. Then again, Talent Fable the tanked it as well, but look, Copium, you saw it, you saw it. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not BSing you, you saw it. Okay, let's go for Willowis. 
onto uh, Iron Hands here. And I think Shadow Ball onto... Actually, wait, they're going to use Wild Charge onto, onto Sylveon. Okay, I'll, I'll use Protect. Okay, hopefully Will-O-Wisp hit, um, Will hits and somehow Sylveon survives. Fake out on to Fletching Duck. Okay. What is... Okay, Dazzling Gleam. Fletching Duck should tank this. It's, it's resisted. <laughs> Did nothing. Okay, okay, yeah, flinched. Okay. I'm gonna go with... Oh, do I use Roost? I don't know. Who, who did I bring in again? Okay, yes, yeah, so I brought Mouse Hold and Raw Moon. Okay. I think what I do is I use will -Wisp onto Iron Hands again. And I swap out Sylveon into maybe Raw Moon. Just so we resist... Um, resist Wild Charge or, or Thunder Punch. Because they will use like Wild Charge of Thunder Punch onto Sylveon. Like Sylveon's the threat right now. Okay, Raw Moon. We have boosted energy to raise our um, attack. Thunder Punch. It was actually onto Fletcher. Why would they not use it onto Sylveon? What? Why would they not use it onto Sylveon? I, am, I, am I missing something? Sylveon is the threat here, not. Okay, that, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Well, Tawan's gone. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess let's let's go back into Sylveon. If I knew they would have attacked Sylveon, I would have just stayed in and use and use Willowis onto um Iron Hands, but that's okay. Okay, right, let's go with Hyper Voice here. Because when we're, uh, we're no longer disabled. And uh Iron Head onto onto Actually no wait, Trick him goes away next turn. So what I'll do is I'll door protect. So Trick him goes away. And then we we'll use Iron Head onto Scream Tower, then blah blah blah. Okay. So protect, yeah. And then another protect. Okay, okay. And does Scream Tower die to one Iron Head? Probably not. I think it's in the red. I don't think it dies. Does in Gleam and protected. Us using the first spray uh, boost so early was a bit bad because, I mean, like, we don't have it now, but. Nothing we can do. Okay, let's go with uh, Hyper Voice again. And Iron Head. Again, I don't think it will kill Screw and Tail, but it should do okay. They swap out Iron Hands. They really want to abuse Fake Out. Okay, they go into who? Who is that? Tingly. Okay. I can just use Terra Blast. Yeah, it doesn't kill. Hyper Voice should kill from here. Wait. That isn't that isn't Iron Ball. That's just like regular screen top. Okay, fine. Interesting. Hyper Wash should kill screen top from here. Does decent damage to Tingu as well. Okay. We'll use um oh they're gonna use fake count to solve you on, right? Hmm. Okay. Uh no, uh, no, this is interesting. Okay. Can can mouse hold kill I enhance from full health? Probably not. <laughs> okay, okay. What I'll do is I'll door protect so fake out gets out of the way. Yeah, I protect on both of them. So door protect, you can't use fake out. And then I think what I do. Oh, who's the bigger threat between Tingle and Iron Hands? Is it actually fair to say that Iron Hands is the bigger threat? Because Iron Hands can do super effective damage to Sylveon and Mousehold. Also, like, it can use Drain Punch onto Mouse, or it can use Thunder Punch onto Sylveon. They're gonna- Oh, they have Interrody, I actually forgot. Okay. Ting Lu. Yeah, like, they knew that Iron Hands is the- is the, uh, win- win condition. Okay, Terra Fairy. Um... I- I don't know. Mm. If I use Terra Blast... Onto Iron Hands with with Pop Bomb. Will it kill? I don't know, but it might have protected like in, and like um anticipate that ruination. Yeah, I think that's my only play. Like I think over here I have oh, I don't know what to do actually. I I think I've used Terra Blast. Terra Blast for the most damage. I'm Population Bomb. Yeah. Okay. This has to kill, please. Okay, they use protect onto Ting Lu. 
if these protect with iron hands, I would have lost. Okay. With all 10 hits, it should be in the yellow. I think that's four. Five. So I think we kill with Terror Blast. I think we kill. We should kill. From, from here, we should kill. Come on. Nine times, Terror Blast. Come on, kill. Come on. Surely. Okay, we do. Okay, the crit. I don't, I don't think the crit matters. From here, Ting Lu can't do anything. Ting Lu is good, but... I, I mean, I mean, like, uh, unless it hits double Fissure, which I guess it could, what, like, 15% chance for it to hit Fissure back to back? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's just use Pop Bomb onto Tinglu as well and see what happens. Oh, they just forfeit. Okay. Well, Fletchinder didn't really do anything, but then again, Fletchinder isn't really meant to do anything apart from just use Tower and just, like, sustain hits. So, I mean, like, it did it. It did it. So, I am pleased with this performance. Anyway. Let's get into the second match. Okay, second match. Also, guys, I have no idea where you guys obviously live, but in England, if you can't tell from England, from my accent, in England, it is actually boiling. Like, <laughs> it is hot. It, it is, and like, it, it's, it's not like good weather. Like, I don't know, like, like in Spain or like in like, I don't know, Florida, Miami. I, I, I have no idea. It is literally like scorching. It, it, it's like Tuchel got sent down, like, it, 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 like, used drought, or, like, I don't know, like, had, had drought. I'd, God knows, but <laughs> let's use Tell in here, and uh, let's use Hyper Voice with Sylveon. Um, Qu Quackerville should be on Focus Ash if that's Focus Ash. If not, just, like, straight up fainted. Right. Let's see. Has Focus Ash, okay. Well, what do they do? Aqua Step. Fletchinder should survive one aqua step. I, I I think. I don't know. Try the ball. Half. Yeah, a bit below. Our, our special defense falling there is a bit annoying. Aqua step. How much does Fletchinder take? Okay. Okay, look, hear me out, okay? Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Okay. Yeah, no, I've nothing to say there. <laughs> Actually, I've, I've nothing to say there. Look, Fletching Day is more tanky than Talon Flame. Right, look, I look, it, it would have one shot Talon Flame the same way it one shot Fletching Day. Like, nothing I can do there. But Tailwind is up, okay? That's the important thing. The, the important thing is Tailwind is up. Okay, let's use Freeze Dry onto Fluttermane and Hyper Voice onto both of them. That should pretty much be it. Uh, Fletching Day dying less so early is an issue. I don't think it is. Again, like, it's like only job is just to use um, Tailwind and just like, I don't know, just like try and support the team when needed by using, I don't know, um, will wisp as well. But Tailwind being up is absolutely fine. They actually Terra um, Flutterman. Why? Oh my days, it's, it's actually Terra Steel. This is the first time I've seen Terra, um, Terra Steel Flutterman. What? It's actually gonna survive. It's actually gonna survive. What? Terra Steel Fluttermane. That's ridiculous. Okay, well, I think Sylveon goes down here. It doesn't. Okay. Well, I, I guess, what? We use Freeze Dry onto, actually wait. You know, no, let me use Help in Hand because I feel like Amoongus will try and use um, Rage Powder. And Hyper Voice, Hyper Voice should kill Flutterman from here with help in hand. It should. So Amoongus uses Rage Powder, probably. Go on. Maybe it does, maybe it just uses Spore. I, I have no idea. But I assume Rage Powder, like if I was the opponent, I would use Rage Powder. Just because like, why would you not? Like you've like literally terrored um, Flutterman. Wouldn't you want to preserve the terror? Oh, they, they just use Protect. That, that is not good. <laughs> um, you know, that's a lot of damage to Amoongus. What? Help in hand is definitely a move. Okay, okay. I think Towing goes away this turn, actually. I'm pretty sure. Does it? Feels like it should. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it does, actually. It doesn't. Okay, it goes away next turn. Okay. I think... I just try and wake up and over here they're gonna use um 
Rage Powder, 100%. They have to. Nothing I can really do. High Voice has to call from here. If they don't use Rage Powder here, I'm just like, <laughs> why would you not? Please, like, why would you not use Rage Powder? <laughs> they didn't use Rage Powder. Okay, they, they swap into Pelipper. Okay, what's well, so a double, double spore, most likely. Okay. Um, I, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Spore again. I fight the most weirdest opponents. Like, I'm just like... Like, I, I don't... <laughs> wouldn't use a rage pad and make more sense? Would it not? Maybe it wouldn't. I, I have I've no idea. Okay, they, they, they go back into Quackable. Okay. I guess let's use Freeze Dry onto Quackable and um, try to wake up Sylveon. Okay, wake up, Iron Bundle. Do it. Do it. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay, Sylveon is asleep. Iron Bundle? Oh! Okay. Okay. Does Amoongus actually even have Rage Pod? Like, what's it gonna do? I'm, 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 I'm actually like, okay, okay, um, I, I, I actually don't know, like, I, I, I you know, actually, I, I've no idea, I've no idea, okay, first means back, okay, does it, does it use Rage Powder now, surely, oh, Hydro Pump, please don't miss, please don't miss, please do not miss, don't miss, don't miss. It's going to miss, isn't it? Something's going to happen where it misses. Oh, come on. Don't, don't do it. Oh, my days. I don't think it has Rage Powder. I don't think Mugus even has Rage Powder. Did it miss? It, it, didn't, it didn't actually miss. Just, yeah, um, protect. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's pulling Puff onto, actually, no, it's, it's protected. Oh, what, you spawn back onto, okay. This is this is so long. I could have just killed him. Amu Amuga should have been like fainted like like four turns ago. Like okay, okay. Sylvia should wake up here. I think I, I don't even know anymore, man. I, I actually I don't even know anymore. Okay, considering Amuga does not have rage powder, I guess I shouldn't be worried about that then. I guess I I I, I don't know. Hey, I I bundle still asleep. That's in green. Okay, pollen puff onto Fluttermane. Okay, let's go to mouse hold here. Okay, population bomb. Okay, hear me out. Fluttermane is not tank. I feel like it's gonna use protect again. But every single prediction I've done so far has been wrong. Oh, it's gonna use protect again. Okay, I'm gonna hope Mouse Hold. Oh, sorry, um, Iron Bundle somehow wakes up. Don't know if it will. Just gonna hope. And, uh. I don't know. I guess I just use Population Bomb onto a Moongus. Is it gonna use protect again? Oh my days, it didn't use protect. Oh! <laughs> I would have used it onto Flutterman. I don't know if Amoongus even had Rage Powder the whole time. I, I, it, it, didn't, it didn't use it, so I have no idea. Okay, Dazzling Gleam. Okay. I think we should win. I think. Flutterman is not the most tankiest person in the world. Terra Normal Population Bomb should kill. Like, I will say this. Like, Flutterman has like 55 HP, 55 defense. Yes, yeah, Terra Steel, but resistance can only help you so much. I, th I think it dies to this. It must like uses Protect for like no reason. Like, watch, watch. It, it definitely needs Protect for no reason. 
It doesn't, okay. Okay. Does it die? Three, four, five. I think it's dead. Yeah, so, okay, yeah, the crit that. I mean, I, I definitely crit mounted. I think, yeah. Whoa! Interesting match. Legendary really didn't do anything in the whole video. <laughs> apart from his towering. But again, it's only job is to use towering. And look, Legendary is more tanky than Tan and Flame. So there you go. Yeah, it, it, it just didn't get to do anything, like, <laughs> unfortunately. But Fletcher will return in other videos. It will definitely return. So yeah, hopefully we can see Fletcher do something there. Anyway, though, um, I think that'll be it for me. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed. I like the video and I will see you in the next one.